Today we're going to be talking about how these things work, more specifically e-readers. But first, my name is Steve Smith, this is Tiki Way Weekly, and how does e-ink work, especially in e-readers? E-readers, unlike traditional tablets, use a different kind of screen that uses a technology called e-ink. Because of this difference, unlike traditional tablets, and yes I know I'm calling them traditional tablets, they can last a lot longer, are easier to read in direct sunlight, and of course, only currently support black and white. But you'll understand very soon why. E-ink as a technology is comprised of microcapsules, the width of a human hair, suspended in a liquid within a film-like layer. These microcapsules contain charged particles. These charged particles are either positively charged white particles or negatively charged black particles basically revolving in the idea of magnetism. Now, how does e-ink work? Well, e-ink works by changing the charge over the various zones of the screen to either a positive or negative charge. So anybody who's good in school would know that a positively charged zone will in fact attract the black particles that are negatively charged and repel the positively charged white particles. And when the reverse is done, negatively charging that portion of the screen will result in the white particles being attracted and the black negatively charged particles being repelled and this is absolutely great for text on a screen now due to this specific method of doing things though backlighting like our other more traditional lcd screens is kind of out of the question and for anybody who's ever looked down on their kindle in the at least in my case we see it on the bottom what we actually see is edge lit refracted screens or basically instead of backlighting we have the screen being lit up from the bottom and refraction actually allows us to see it in our eyes illuminating the entire screen obviously the more lights or leds on the edge the better the backlighting will be now what is the pros of having an e-reader compared to a tablet well here's the thing tablets normally boast hours of usage now if you like reading books and that's all you really want to do one of the biggest pros about it is the battery life because of the way the screen works because of how it's actually designed they don't boast hours or days they boast an entire month on a single charge so unlike your cell phone or your tablet or your laptop you can charge it once and use it for weeks on end without having to worry that you won't be able to get through your favorite book. Like this episode if you like it, dislike it if you didn't, share with those that you think can benefit from this, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at ask at tkwayweekly.com or go to tkwayweekly.com for everything else. And if you want to make this show better, go to patreon.com slash tkwayweekly and become a patron of this show. Patrons enjoy these episodes 24 hours in advance of everyone else. Thank you for watching and goodbye.